Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making turkey rolls in a Copper Chef XL. Alright guys, I'm starting out here with my Copper Chef XL. And I'm going to be using three cans of turkey gravy in this. You can get any brand you like. These are ten and a half ounce cans. I'm going to start by putting a little bit of turkey gravy in the bottom of the Copper Chef. I'm just going to go for one can. What this is going to do is this is going to help keep our turkey rolls from sticking and from burning. I'm just going to move this around to get an even coating. Alright guys, I have some turkey uh, lunch meat here. Now you want to get it sliced thick. I ordered this on Walmart online when picked up so I couldn't control how thick they sliced it. It's not quite thick enough to use one slice of turkey per, per roll. So I'm going to use two. But I got like two pounds of turkey so I have enough. I'm going to put a little bit of uh, chicken stuffing in there. This is the instant stuff you buy. And cornbread stuffing will go good in here also, but we're using chicken for this. I'm just going to roll this side up. And you just want to keep rolling. And like I said, if I would have went and picked up the turkey myself, I would have had them slice it a little thicker. But unfortunately, I had no control how they did it. I'm going to take two more slices of turkey. And you just want to keep repeating the process until all of your ingredients are used up. And if you run out of stuffing, which is one box of stuffing, if you run out of stuffing before you run out of turkey, not to worry, you can either layer your turkey in there and eat it like that, or just put it back in the fridge and eat it with sandwiches. So I'm just going to continue making my turkey rolls till I run out of ingredients, and when we're ready to move on to the next step, I'll bring you back. Okay, guys, now that I have all my turkey rolls wrapped up, I'm going to put my remaining two cans of gravy in here. You just want to put a even coat over your gravy, or over your turkey, excuse me. I just woke up from a short nap and I'm still not all the way awake. And Dexter's in there clanking away at his toys. He really doesn't have much to say at the moment. He's in there beating his toys up, but he's happy. It's all that matters. Okay. And guys, it's a really quick and easy uh, weeknight meal for when you work all day and you just don't feel like cooking easy to throw together and my oldest son Eric he was hungry for it so that's why I decided to make it and do a video on it okay now I have all my gravy in here over the turkey I'm gonna put a little bit of salt because I'm using uh, Walmart brand turkey gravy and it's not very well seasoned I like the doctor it up a little bit of pepper Now I'm going to put a lid on this and put this in a 400 degree oven for a half hour. What we're doing is we're just pretty much heating it through because everything's already pre-cooked. When my half hour is up, we'll bring it out and see what we got. Alright guys, my 30 minutes is up. This is ready to serve. Let's go ahead and fix up a plate and see what we got. Alright guys, I also went ahead and made some mashed potatoes to go with this. Let me get in here and give this a try for you. And that gravy goes great over mashed potatoes. See my stuffing in there and the turkey. And like I said, if you go and get the turkey sliced yourself. Get it sliced a little thick. You know, better results. It's really good to flavor the turkey with that chicken stuffing and the gravy. It tastes like Thanksgiving. Throw a little drilled cranberry on there and you have yourself a Thanksgiving meal. That's really good, guys. Alright, there you have it. Turkey rolls in the Copper Chef XL. Give it a try. Thanks for watching, and until next time, I'll see ya.